And cameras catching carloads of people carrying guns, causing some South City residents to hide in their homes last night. This was all happening as celebratory gunfire erupted across the city. That video captured by a woman in South City telling us it is the scariest moment she has ever had living in the city. First Lord Forrest Justin Andrews is learning the problems stem from a short term rental next to the woman's home. Terror, complete and utter terror. Rapid gunfire heard Sunday night inside Michelle Pana's South City home has her ears still splitting. Sounded like a war zone. And based on her home surveillance video, she says it almost looked like a war zone too. But seeing carloads of young men parking on our property and just blatantly walking around with long guns. And that video captured those guys right here at this park pad here on the city south side. And we're told those individuals were going inside their short term rental property. Her cameras caught dozens of people going in the front of this short term rental property on Sunday night on South Kings Highway. But in the back, this was happening. We didn't know what they were planning to do. We knew the party was going on. Were they going to ambush the party? Were they here for you know, a gun battle. About a mile and a half from her home, bullets were flying at this short term rental property on Hunt Avenue. We counted a dozen bullet holes at least in the windows here. Police telling us they found roughly 40 shell casings near this home. I had never been that scared being a resident in the city of St. Louis. City police were busy responding to hundreds of shots fired and shot spotter calls between 6 p.m. Sunday evening and 1 a.m. on New Year's Day. While they're still calculating the calls this year, city police say last year there were 324 calls. Residents of our neighborhood who are concerned about crime in the neighborhood. Carrie Wykowski lives in South City too. She serves on the Southwest Garden Neighborhood Association Board. She'd like the city's STR regulations to be implemented now to prevent more crimes at these short term rental properties. Pana agrees. The city needed to do this years ago. They needed to get on board like every other city. Last week, First Alert 4 told you about a homicide at this short term rental property on Talmadge Avenue. Video there shows a man pulling the trigger, then running down this alleyway. While the rapid gunfire is seemingly over now that we're in the new year, Pana says this may be the last straw for her and her husband. We were in our living room, sitting on the floor, away from windows, having to keep our dogs inside for fear that our dogs would be shot, that bullets would come flying through the windows of our home. This is no way to live. In South City, Justin Andrews, First Alert 4. And we can tell you that short term rental property in question has been deemed as a nuisance property by the city of St. Louis following disturbances, notices and other unruly behavior. Well, first.